Uh, so Clarko has left North Melbourne. He's on indefinite leave. Everything started so well. We won the first two games of the season, and now we've lost the next eight. So it's all gone to shit. And I think the reason is because he's been totally distracted by this whole Hawthorne racism thing. It's been ongoing for fucking ever. Let's have a look at it. Now, look, he walked away on Thursday, but he hasn't made a statement himself. So I'd really like to know exactly what he thinks about it, because the way the media portrays it and the way people actually think can sometimes be totally different. So he walked away on Thursday. North Melbourne released a statement and just days out of the game against Sydney, uh, which was crazy in the end. Uh, it would have seen him coach his 400th AFL match. It would have been nice to see him coach 400 games, but in hindsight, I think North Melbourne needed to kick up the arse and Brett Ratton coming in definitely gave them a boost and they should have beaten Sydney in the end. So he stepped away to focus on his physical and emotional well-being. I don't understand this stuff. Like, this doesn't compute with me. Like, I don't really care about this mental health bullshit. Like, I don't find anything overly complicated, anything overly hard to deal with emotionally especially it's like fucking can deal with anything and like people like giving me shit about being racist or like you know the crowd not liking me as a coach or so it's fucking bullshit like it's easy stuff to deal with in my opinion and the only thing i'll say is from clarkson's point of view it's really frustrating and as a north supporter it's frustrating because we want to see him focus and win games we need to get back up there again and we started so well and obviously now this hawthorne investigation and these allegations are totally weighing down, as, as Viney says, because these faceless prats aren't coming out. We don't know who's making the allegations. Just a few First Nations people. I don't know whether they're just fucking saying Indigenous or Aboriginal. Or like, like This fucking crap, like Sir Douglas Nickel Round and changing the name of the footy clubs to Yarn and Yarn or whatever they're called, Yarra, Yarra Pili. It's like, get a fucking grip, man. He bravely fought on through this period to be North Senior Coach. Yeah, like he continued on. And he continued to coach North. And like I said, he started really well. And I thought, okay, we're going somewhere. We beat Fremantle in Perth, which was okay. West Coast doesn't count. But we beat Fremantle in Perth. And I thought, okay, we're getting somewhere. And as you saw on the weekend, we should have beaten Sydney. So the team is good enough to, you know, not make the top eight, but get pretty close. Maybe 10th, 11th spot. The reality is it's taken a toll. And he felt he just couldn't do it anymore. It's our firm belief he'll be back this year. There's no point. The season's over now. You're already going to finish in the, the bottom eight. So let Ratten take over, finish the season, and then reassess next year. It's fucking pointless now coming in at round 20 or something with two games to go. And it's like, oh, I'm back, boys. I'm fit and healthy now. It's like, what's the point? Sonia Hood has come out, the North president, saying Clarkson's been given the full support and asked that his privacy is respected. Well, you're a public figure, so the media's not going to respect your privacy. That's what you signed up for. But I noticed Sonia Hood won't come out and say, who are these fucking losers? that are making these accusations and not telling people who they are. Like these faceless identities are making these serious accusations. Okay. And the accusations are bullshit. Like, oh, Clarkson told one of the wives of the players to get an abortion so he could focus on footy. I mean, he gives a flying fuck if he said that anyway. Like the player's a grown man. You know, you can make your own decisions in life. That's the beauty of this life. You can make decisions on your own, regardless of what the coaches say. Tell them to get fucked. They're not going to make you get an abortion. It's fucking ridiculous. And as you can see here, he's on a five-year deal, so he's got a lot of security, getting $1.1 million per season. My God, man, let the lawyers deal with their bullshit, and you focus on coaching the Kangaroos to a premiership. That's what you need to do. He's already won four premierships. He knows exactly what he's doing, and he's at the centre of these investigations, the allegations of racism. Telling someone to get an abortion is not racist anyway. But anyway, he's maintained his innocence, as has Chris Fagan, and blasted the Hawks saying, well, this shit's happening. And now it's a shame because he can't go back to Hawthorne as a favourite son anymore. He, can't, he won't go to functions now. He won't ever go back for these premiership things because he's now criticised them in this whole saga. And he actually came out before that and said, Hawthorne is just shameful. Let's do an investigation on them and their practices and see how they go. What the hell do you mean by that? If you're going to say things like that, you have to explain what you're talking about. You can't just subtly throw it out there and then go, well, let's see how you go investigate yourself huh and then it's like well what do you mean like are you saying they've done worse than what's being accused are there other people who have done similar things that's what we need to know and look like i said i don't believe in this crap okay if you if you're getting paid a million dollars per year as far as i'm concerned you have a responsibility to see everything through you're the leader of the club you are the man the buck stops with you you are the voice you are the leader of this group Show everyone that you're a fucking leader. 
But too often these days, everyone takes time off for mental health. Where the fuck is your pride? Where's your honour? Finish out what you started and turn around North Melbourne. That would be something. Take them to a premiership or take them to the top eight after all this goes on. That is what inspires people. Not this bullshit of, oh, he needs to figure out his mental and physical health. Fuck off with that shit. Can't stand it. Anyway, leave your comments below.